How's it going, guys? It is the Hawk, back here with another yeah, FPS paintball video. This one is of uh, me at Cameron Speedway this past weekend. Um, this was actually the day after I was at Fight for Asylum. And me and Eric uh, decided to go and play a uh, day of paintball. And uh, I tried to use my 468 at PRZ, but it just I couldn't get it down to speed, and I just wanted to get on the field and play. Uh, so I decided to just stick with my Phenom for the day at Fight for Asylum. It was a great day. As always, it's a great field. Uh, refs are right in there calling people out. Uh, great refing, great field, great staff. I never have any complaints about this field when I go there. Um, I just wish it wasn't so far away. That's my only complaint, really. Is that it's way too far away from me. And I just wish it was a bit closer. But um, in the if, if you can't tell, which you probably can't because I haven't really shown you my gun. Um, today I was, or on this day, I was using my Rap 4 468, which you'll see in two seconds here. There it is. I've got the M-Bus uh, flip-up sights going, rail covers. Um, now, what I've got on it is I've got the Scarab Arms mod, uh, the Meg mod on there. So I did some cutting to the breach. This is the Gen 1 lock bolt, the Gen 1 charging handle. Uh, this is a f pretty much first Gen 468 from the trade-in program. So um, it's I ordered the D-Meg well with the new lock bolt, the new charging handle, and the new up, anti drop Move bolt up. kit, so that'll be installed. And then I'm pretty sure it's a, a smaller cut that I have to do once I get that, just to so it can accept the Scarab Arms mag, so I'm not just going to throw those out when I get the D-Mag. Um, <sighs> excuse me. Today, On this day, uh, I had it about, I played about probably 15 games. And there were some hiccups. At times, it was not firing, um, meaning the mag was not pushing the ball into the breach properly. And then I had, throughout the day, two chops uh, and one barrel break. The chops, I have no idea exactly what happened. Um, but obviously, the lock bolt's supposed to stop it from chopping. And it didn't quite do too well on that. Um, just going to make a quick comment here. Here I'm getting shot through and they're bouncing. I get hit in my pod pack. I look at the ref. He shakes his head no. Get hit in the pod pack again. Look at him again. He says no. So I just go back to playing. Um, but there were some issues. Now, don't take this as my review on it because... Keep in mind, I am using a mod. I did do some cutting to use these mags, so obviously it's not going to feed perfectly. Um, when I do do my full review, I will be using the D-mags and doing my thoughts on it with the D-mags because that is the proper system for it. Uh, this, this gun is not supposed to accept Scarab Arms mags. And for, for the mod and for it not supposed to accept them, it did fairly well. Um... Sometimes I did find it wasn't feeding the last ball. Sometimes I found it wasn't shooting the last two or three. So I just dropped the mag, recharged the gun, and tried to get go at it again. Uh, toward my very last game with the 468, uh, I had a pretty serious breach uh, issue. A pampaw broke right in the breach, and I don't know when it broke when it either got pushed up into the breach or when the bolt actually fired it, but some paint got stuck in the lock bolt and kept it engaged, which caused the next ball to break, and then I could dry fire, but only because the lock Come bolt on, was guys, stuck engaged. Up. So um, that was my major issue throughout the day. Now the good thing is whenever I had the barrel break or the other uh, breach break, it was very easy to take off flush it with water or flush the bolt with water to get the paint off the bolt and then run a uh, squeegee right down the hole uh, inside of the gun but um for uh for the first time using it did take some getting used to did take some uh, discipline with the 18 rounds per mags per mag 
and then um, changing mags on the fly, right? Obviously, I'm not the fastest with it, but I'll learn as I go. Accuracy. Once again, this paint, I do not believe, is for MagFed. It is Empire Custom Blend for the field. Um, it's a hard shell paint, but it's not It's not graffiti. Graffiti is like the best possible thing for MagFed uh, from what I've seen and from what I've, where I've shot it and the people I've heard from. They say graffiti is like top notch for MagFed anyways. Um, Accuracy-wise, pretty decent. I had it took me a while to get it down to velocity field limit which was 250 uh, on this day it was actually shooting between 245 and 256 so the ref said it was fine around 254 was the last shot I took with it um, velocity is a bit of a pain in the ass to turn down Let's if go, you guys, don't have up, an allen up, key if you have the allen key set like the big yellow handle or the gray handle you cannot turn the velocity down on this gun because it gets in the way um, you actually have to have the single allen key by itself to turn it down or take off the stock, pull out the end cap, and turn the velocity down that way. Um, but if you have the allen key, it could be pretty simple. Uh, final thoughts. Pretty decent gun. Shoots pretty accurate. Um... Air efficiency, it lasted me the whole day. I only used 500 paintballs on. I only had 500 paintballs, so that was a full uh, full 3,000 fill. Or a 4,000 fill. I didn't quite get it up to 4,500, so... It was shooting pretty decent. Also, at times, I found when I, after I was running off the brake, uh, the safety would slip into safe. And I'd try to go for that first initial shot, and there would be no paint in there. So that was kind of... Or there, would I wouldn't be able to pull the trigger because the safety re-engaged because the tr the safety on it is incredibly loose and I wish it was a bit tighter and I wish I knew how to tighten the safety down but uh for my first day using it I got plenty more videos to come of me using this gun and uh you guys can see it in action here I'm going with my knife mercy and I was thinking about it, but then he started to turn around and look at me, so I just mercyed him. Now, apparently, when I mercy one person, uh, three other people went out. I have that effect on people. I don't know what it is with you guys. That's good, don't guys. be afraid to get hit. It doesn't hurt, guys. It hurts for maybe two seconds, and the pain goes away. Grow a pair, and go at it with the guy. Go out like a man. Go out with some uh, dignity. Don't just call yourself out if he gets too close. Don't make it easy on him. But uh, those guys didn't actually end up getting hit. They just called themselves out. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought. And plenty more 468 videos coming out throughout the week. Uh, exams are almost done for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.